Hey everyone, this is Lala Reddy and we're back with our sound design series. Today we're recreating a pad which is inside my preset pack and it's called Beijing and this is how it sounds like. So in this tutorial, we're going to show you all the oscillators and all the effects. And if you like it, as usual, you can grab it in the description below. And if you want to support me as well, you can buy me a coffee also in the description below. But enough about talking and let's go to the sound design. So starting with the sound designing, we're going to pick here two basic shapes. We're going to put the first one all the way down and we're going to leave the level at the second one exactly the same. We're going to use the oscillator A to FM this to oscillator B. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it an octave down and also five cents up. And we're also gonna put here 11 voices and a detune around 20. This is how it sounds like. But now if we increase the FM to 35, also we're gonna pick here and put the unison to five, the detune to around 0.10. Oh, I forgot to put the blend here to 85 and to 80 over here. So what's doing this wow and really stereo is the unison over here. As you can hear the difference. And now we're gonna start with the filter. We're gonna pick here the filter. We're gonna put here at band 12, activate A and B. We're gonna put the cutoff to around 280 the resonance to around 20%, drive to around 12, and the fat to around 20. This is how it sounds like. So we're just cutting a little bit of the highs and we're gonna modulate this now with the LFO 2. We're gonna put this here and put it to 12. So now it sounds like this. And we're also gonna put the rate to four bars. So another thing that we're gonna do here is gonna pick LFO one and we're gonna put it here to the find of oscillator A and we're gonna shift alt. You can see it changes the way that it does the modulation. We're gonna put this modulation to 30 and this is how it sounds like. If you want, you can even make it faster or make it go even higher. You can see the wah, 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 wah. that's what we want to achieve with. We want to create some movement in this pad and that's why we're doing this. Another thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna pick here the envelope two. We're gonna modulate the filter with envelope two. So we're gonna put the attack here to 172. We're gonna put the decay to 160. That's fine. And we're gonna put the sustain to 82%. And we're gonna pick this and put it to nine in the modulation. We want this to be like a extra glimpse every time there is a new note happening. Another thing, and this is optional, we're gonna pick here the macro, we're gonna put here to the attack. And we're gonna put here this modulation to 35. That's fine. And if you want more attack, you can just increase this. Or you can see that there's a difference in the way that the chords grow. That's up to taste. I'm leaving it all the way up, but whatever you feel is the best. And now let's move to the effects section. So in the effects section, we're gonna start with a phaser and a chorus. We're basically just activating the phaser, putting it to 40. We're gonna put the chorus now to 35. This is just to create some character in how it sounds, so without it. So the chorus is adding a little bit more of stereo and the phaser is adding a little bit more of phasing to the sound. And now we're gonna move now to a delay. We're gonna put here the left to one eight, the right to one eighth as well. We're gonna put this to dot. And we're going to put this to around 26%. Now we're going to pick here a filter. We're not going to use any kind of the normal filters. We're using a miscellaneous Foreman 2. 
basically we want to put this to around 400 hertz and we want to increase the resonance to around 40 percent we want to create exactly this sound but we're not adding it 100 percent we're putting the depth here to around 45 percent so without it it adds a little bit of that's what we want to do with this one but sometimes you can see that this is a little bit like the volume is not consistent whenever it starts it's louder than after it starts so we're putting a compressor to make it more consistent in the compressor we're going to put the threshold to 30 and we're putting the gain to 12 so this way we keep it loud as well So starting here, we're going to put here an EQ because there could still be some clicks in the sound and we want to get rid of these clicks. So we're just putting here a low pass filter in the Q of around 40%. And we're putting this to 2,500. Now we're putting here a hyper dimension. The main reason for this hyper dimension is mainly to create some character to the sound. So we're putting this to around 30%. It just adds a little bit more of stereo, adds a little bit more of body to the sound and that's what we want with it. And lastly, we're gonna pick a reverb. We're putting the decay to around seven seconds, the low cut to around 30, 40%, it's fine. The high cut, we're gonna leave it as it is. And the mix we're putting here to 50%. This is how it sounds like. It's really phasey, it has a lot of formants, and that's what we want to do with this sound. We want something that we can just put it in the background. Sometimes you can even use the cue over here and take a little bit of the, the low ends as well. And just use this high cut, but that's up to you. So whatever you want to do with it. But I hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, as I said before, you can grab the preset here in the description below, which you can also find the link to the Buy Me A Coffee in which you can help support the channel. And most importantly, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe and you stayed updated with our weekly videos. So I see you next week in the next sound design series. Ciao.